my name is Wendy Berry, and for our action plan, our area of focus is backward mapping and balance assessment. The reason this was chosen is because for our school on our CIWP, we agreed that we would like to focus on balance assessment. In order to focus on balance assessment, we figured that it would be important to talk about backward design, where we can plan with the end in mind. Uh, and by uh, doing the backward design, our first step would be determining what results, what are our outcomes, what do we want the students to learn, what do we want to come out of the learning experience. And then the next step is assessments. How would these assessments be used to see if the students are learning what we intended to teach them in order to get the desired result. And then finally is planning our learning activities. What activities are we going to plan to get the desired results and then use the assessment to see if the planning uh, aligns with the desired results that we came up with in the beginning. So it's like planning backwards and moving forward. So one of our objectives is to ensure all teachers complete backward mapping. Some teachers may not be familiar with planning with the end in mind. So we have given ourselves a two, a one to two week time frame, and this would include all the staff, uh, the teachers and the support staff as well. And the resources we're gonna use is the Illinois Common Core Standards, uh, Network 9, Math and ELA Patient Guide, and ICIWP. CIWP plan. Um, the documentation where you would see the evidence of us using backward mapping would be in our lesson plan and of course our assessments. The next part of our action plan is we're going to plan for quarter two because currently we are in quarter two and we're going to plan for weeks two through 11, uh, 11 through 20 with uh, cycle dates. We have already began this back in November, and again, we're using our resources from Network 9, because that's the network we're in, and we also have a calendar, lesson plan, and assessment. So we have an assessment calendar to let, to let us know what day each class or each teacher will be assessing their, their students. The next, uh, another objective is collaboration. Collaborate with the teachers to develop a plan based on their data. So we're going to use that data to uh, back to plan uh, backward mapping. So the data that the teachers had from the first quarter, we're going to use to plan for the second quarter. So how will we do this? We will do this by using what we call a heat map, where the teachers take their um, data from the NWEA BOI assessment. We will use the data charts. We will use the frequency chart on how frequent they are going to assess. And of course, we need the lesson plan as well. Um, based on the collaboration with the teachers and developing a plan based on their data, this will help us determine what type of assessments we're going to use, how frequent we're going to use them, and how we're going to plan for instruction, how we're going to have our small groups. You want to stop? Next thing is I need to meet with all teacher staff to discuss balance assessment and grading. Uh, since that is something that we identified last year in our CIWP, we just want to go back and revisit balance assessment. What is balance assessment? How does it look? And, and what is the grading criteria for it? Um, another part of our objectives is collaborate with the teaching staff to create an assessment calendar with lessons built in. And then, of course, the last thing is include dates for, for assessment on the calendar. So the o overarching goal is to ensure that all teachers understand what backward backward mapping or backward design is that we're planning for the next 11 to 20 weeks that we're also using our data to plan and 
we understand what balance assessment and grading is. We also need to come up with a, a calendar to talk about the frequency of the assessment. And finally, we're going to put it all together. So this is our action plan on backward design um, with the end in mind. Thank you again. My name is Wendy Berry.